All right, what is up, you guys? It's the Sandman right back at it again. We got a fun one in store today. This one is another Soundgarden, old school Soundgarden off their debut album, Ultra Mega OK. I don't think I've heard any tracks off of this one. I've heard some off of Super Unknown, um, and I think maybe one or two from um, the one from 96. I forgot the name of it. And I reacted to uh, Outshined and Rusty Cage. So one was from, uh, I think they were both off the same album, maybe, Bad Finger, Bad Motor Finger, or something like that. Um, those are phenomenal tracks. You should check those out on my channel. But this one's Beyond the Wheel. Um, and I'm expecting a Cornell classic here, just a little spoiler. I wanted to see if people had reacted to the song before. There's a couple on YouTube. Um, and let's see what it sounds like, man. 88. Oh my goodness. not expecting it so the song started off like this just really muddy down to the really beneath the ground type of song you know what i mean it's a really muddy gritty type of type of song to it man it's probably the staple of like really early grunge bands their first couple records maybe apart from a band like alice in change which sounded really more polished up not even sound like this this is like a sludgy sound even uh, sound, um, album like Bleach Nirvana kind of like a sludgy type of sound I uh, love it I love it um, you can even hear some notes just ringing out um, and things like that but this is like a chant man um, and and Chris, and Chris in, in this high pitched verse boom he brings it all the way up to the sky with his voice dude I think this is the highest I've ever heard him sing right here it's insane this, I mean I'm Man, crazy, crazy, crazy. And oh, and, and love those transition riffs as well. I really love these transition riffs. Just packs that extra punch to it, man. Really badass sound to those riffs here. Hear this droning guitar, the da-na-na. I wonder if that was kept going and it just 
Yeah, I wonder if that just started or if that kept going beneath the music. Oh, it looks like it just started. Wow, that's cool. Woo! Look at that. I like that little scratching effect too. Listen to these little, little, these little effects going on in the guitars, those little note slides, um, some vibrato going on, the clanging, that clanging effect, very percussive effects going on with the guitars here. Um, The, disc, the little bits and pieces of discography I've heard by Soundgarden, this is so unique compared to their later works, man. There's something about this song. It's this very... I think it's the production has a big part of it, has a big part to do with it. Um, just this raw, like... Almost like they're playing out of like this, like... This like garage, this like open, not like garage, but like this like chamber, you know what I mean? Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with those like effects, that little, those clanging, you know, jarring type of sounds going on in the guitar at times. Um, but really the standout is the vocals, man, of the song. And I was kind of anticipating that to be my reaction after it, but not to hear his voice like this. Um, just so much range. When you talk about rangy guys, Robert Plants, Axl Rose, um, Dio, uh, who else? Who else is known like a rangy rock? Like a lot of those power metal guys, you know, that, that, that would, you know, maybe like people that play with like, or sing with Ingve Malmsteen and, and artists like that, the power metal type of folks. You got to put this guy on that tier, man. This guy's like a, this is just another level. I didn't even expect it to be him to be able to have ever hit this type of range ever. Um, and wow, it's just crazy. I wonder how old he was in this. Maybe early 20s, 23, 24, something like that. Um, he has a very a youthful sound to it. And uh, you can see the traces of like his, his, uh, his like grunginess coming out when, when the, when the, some of these verses end with like two words like 
deep into the ground. ground and he says ground again or stones, stones again. Um, it's a very grungy sound. You'll hear what I'm talking about when he says it. So Ooh, that's too late. Right there, right there. Blah. It sounds like even Lane Staley's done it, um, and I think Eddie Vedder has some like sings uh, some of his songs like some words like that. It's a very grungy sound. Like it's like it's kind of like coming like it's a throaty type of effect, distorted. I love that. That's why I love grunge vocals. My favorite genre of vocals, man. When it comes to rhythm guitar, thrash metal, lead guitar, maybe. I don't know, uh, maybe like jet, just standard heavy metal, uh, hard rock. Vocals, grunge though, for sure. Funk, maybe bass. I guess bass would be funk, but um, wow, wow, that's crazy. I wanna, okay, I wanna, I wanna go to that transition from, from the more low standard pitch and then to that high pitched verse. Let's hear that effect. Cause when that first hit me, it, I was blown away. All right, here we go. And how about that effect too? It's a weird like harmony, but it's like, it's like warped. I don't know. All just one note, one chord. And the guitar helps too, because the guitar is ascending in the background. Da, 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 while he's singing it. So the first part, when he was like the, the weird harmony thing, the introduction was like just spoken word, drone, drone, drone. And now you see the buildup in the guitar in the background. That's a cool little trick that kind of adds to it as well. So Cornell's going on that same drone, the same drone tone, that note, but the guitar is ascending in the background. Very cool contrast there. And last thing I'll just touch on real quick, this solo. Um, very... It sound, rhymes like a Rage the Mach Against the Machine kind of solo, man. A lot of sound effects, scratchiness, um, uh, some notes here and there. Not not really melodic, uh, apart from a few screaming screaming notes every now and then. I would, maybe screaming is not the right word, but um, bendy notes and things like that. Let's just hear how it sounds. Kind of like how Slayer's solos fit into the song, you know what I mean? Just chaos, chaos. I love it though, because the song from the lyrics I've been looking at while listening to it, seems like it's about war beyond the wheel. I think it's like the the depths of humanity, like how they can reinvent something like the wheel. Then you have the, the, the fathers teaching their sons how to kill. Um, the baby is the pawn in the profit game, uh, which is like run by the elites to you know, perpetuate war and violence for their own personal gain. Um, there's a churning storm, so clearly allusion to war. Um, mother, who's your man? Is he doing what he can to make a proper home? By overturning other stones. So by putting other people into the ground, is he holding us up? Like, is this, is he doing his job of killing or whatever to help us sustain? 
Um, pretty cool song, straightforward theme. I love it. It's a haunting, haunting type of, of, of instrumental as well. But there's Beyond the Wheel. What a surprise, man. Really loved it. Chris Cornell, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, yeah, yeah. Love the effects too as well with the guitars. Um, very kind of addictive as well. Love it. Yeah, man. Early Soundgarden. Didn't even think to react to it, but it just came across my mind. So that's it. Sam and checking out. Peace.